Okay everyone, I verified you can use 7 different methods to play Genshin Impact on your Mac, and now I want to tell you about them. We recommend watching everything even if you know what you want to use, because we'll also add in some useful tips on how to get the best out of every method. But first, we need to get something important out of the way. Some of the suggested methods use cloud gaming, but why would anyone prefer this over local play? The main reasons in my opinion are the ease of use, the convenience, and the ability to play with much better performance on weaker machines. The local methods work mostly okay for Genshin Impact, but there are certain limitations that, in my opinion, take away from the experience, which is why some users may opt for streaming the game. This brings me to Boosteroid, the first cloud-based suggestion I've got for you, but is this service even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? From my personal experience with both Genshin Impact and other games I've played in Boosteroid, the platform works very well, provided your internet connection isn't total trash. Obviously, there's bound to be some minimal delay when using cloud gaming, but it's just not something that had any effect on my time with Genshin Impact. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boostroid is actually ahead of the curve here, as it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120 FPS. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so I can honestly recommend it, especially for Genshin Impact. Using Boosteroid is super simple, just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account, then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. Decided you want to give it a try? Then go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription to Boosteroid. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. This effectively lowers the internet speed requirements while streaming with Boosteroid through your browser, which means that even if you've got a weak connection, you'll still get a smooth stream and crisp image quality, or you can just bring the image quality up if you've got good internet. The next cloud service is GeForce Now, and most of what we said about Boosteroid applies here too. It's an easy, reliable way to casually play Genshin Impact on your Mac. The bandwidth demands here are a bit higher, but nothing your regular internet connection can't handle. In my test, there was virtually no difference in the streaming quality between Boosteroid and GFN, both at 1080p and 4K. Choosing between the two will usually boil down to personal preference and what other games you want to play, since not all Boosteroid titles are on GFN and vice versa. Setting up GeForce Now is also easy. Follow the link in the description, click the Join Now button, pick a plan, and begin your subscription. Then get the GFN app from the download section and log in. Then go to the Games section, look for Genshin Impact, and launch it. GFN will run a quick internet check after which the game will start. If the connection test warns you of weak internet, you can still start the game but you should know the streaming quality may not be great. In such cases, I recommend tinkering with the connection settings in the app to lower the bandwidth demands and possibly improve the stream smoothness. Then just enter your email and password and you are ready to go. Xbox Cloud Gaming is another cloud option I can recommend, but with some caveats. Unlike Boosteroid and other services, xCloud doesn't have a 4K, 120 FPS option, and it tends to have a bit more input lag on average. Also, since you are technically streaming the console version of the game, you'll need a controller. No mouse and keyboard support here. On the plus side, a single subscription will let you play not only Genshin Impact, but also a ton of other titles without needing to own them separately, which is a pretty sweet deal. I still personally prefer the previous options because of the superior performance and streaming quality, but xCloud is still definitely a valid solution. To use xCloud, go to the link in the description, choose the ultimate plan on the page that opens, and register. After picking a payment method and starting your subscription, make sure you've got a controller connected to your Mac, then just find the game in the xCloud library and click play. If cloud gaming's just not your thing, then I've also got a bunch of alternative methods that let you download and run Genshin Impact locally. The first local solution is Crossover, a compatibility layer tool that lets you download and run the PC version of Genshin Impact. Based on reports from the Mac gaming community and my own testing, I concluded that Crossover is a decent option, but not the best. Many users faced issues with starting the game, and you'll also need a decently powerful Mac to run it with OK performance. I personally used a 32GB M2 Max and got around 60 frames per second at medium settings, which isn't ideal. Also, a lot of users reported various bugs, crashes, and graphics artifacts when running the game through crossover, so I can't promise you a perfect experience if you go for this method. Still, if you want to try it out, here's how. For crossover, follow the respective link below, 
register and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial, which is what I recommend. After crossover downloads, install the app, launch it, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to install, search for Genshin Impact, and install it in the new bottle. This actually installs the game launcher, so once it's ready, open it and click Get Game to start the actual Genshin installation. After the install completes, enable eSync and also disconnect your Mac from the internet before launching the game. This is to bypass the anti-cheat system of Genshin, which doesn't allow the game to be run in compatibility layers. Once you start the game and get to its login screen, you can once more reconnect to the internet and proceed as normal. Whiskey is Crossover's free but jankier cousin. It technically works on the same principle as Crossover, but it's no longer supported by its dev and it's prone to encountering even more bugs and errors. Honestly, its sole draw is its $0 price tag, but everything else about it is just worse. You can give it a try if you want, but be warned that the hassle to get it to work with Genshin Impact may not be worth the money you saved. I simply cannot fit in this video all fixes, workarounds, and stopgap solutions that different users may need to apply to get Genshin Impact running smoothly in Whiskey. That's the thing about this method, the results you get can vary greatly depending on a ton of factors, and I simply cannot account for all of them. Therefore, I'll just show you the general way to set up Whiskey and install games in it. For a more detailed discussion on the do's and don'ts in Whiskey, check the article link in the video description. Now to set this up, first download the latest version of the Whiskey app from the provided link below and extract the zip file in your applications folder. Then you must create a new bottle with Windows 10 or 11 compatibility and go to the official Genshin Impact site. From there, download the PC installer of the game, click Run in Whiskey and find and run the installer. Then click on Install Now and follow the prompts. Note this installs the game launcher and not the game itself. Once the launcher loads, click Get Game and now Genshin will start installing. After this finishes, the game is ready. You can now launch it and start playing it through Whiskey. Just note that, like with Crossover, you should launch Genshin in Whiskey while disconnected from the internet and then reconnect once you get to the login screen. Using the yet another anime game launcher is probably the best of the local methods to play the PC version of Genshin Impact on Mac. It works similarly to Crossover and Whiskey, but is way better optimized for Genshin. It's also totally free, so no reason not to give it a try. There are only two things to note here. First is that the installation requires a huge amount of hard disk space, around 200 gigs. After the installation, the game size shrinks down to 90 gigs, but that 200 is still a requirement to get to that point. The other thing is that you do need a decently powerful Mac, at least an M2 Pro with 16 gigs, but preferably an M2 Max with 32, which will get you around 70 to 80 FPS at medium settings. If all this sounds okay to you, here's how to use this method. First, go to the launcher's GitHub page, which I've linked below, and download the latest release. For each release, you can choose between the Chinese and the international version, so pick the one that corresponds to the server where you want to play. Next, double-click the downloaded archive to extract its contents. Then move the extracted file to your applications folder and launch it. Wait for the installation. When asked, provide your admin password, and once the process finishes, click Restart the program. Next, click on Install Game, choose a directory, and start the installation. I once again remind you that it's recommended to have at least 200 gigs of free space to perform this installation. If you lack the space on your internal drive, I recommend using an external one. Once the game's download completes, you are ready to start playing. However, if you already have Crossover installed on your Mac, I suggest you click the COG button first, go to the Wine tab, and set the Wine distribution setting to Crossover. This will usually allow the game to run with better performance. This works even if you only have the 14-day free trial version of Crossover. In either case, you are ready to get started. Just click Launch Game, log in, and enjoy your time with Genshin Impact. The last method I want to talk about is Bluestacks. This is a free Android app emulator, so you'll technically be playing the mobile version of Genshin Impact. This means the game won't look as good as if it were the PC version, but it will also be much less demanding, so now you should be able to run it on a base M1 or M2 chip. Another good thing is that Bluestacks has keyboard and mouse support, so you can still play it even without a controller. So here's what you need to do to get Genshin Impact running on your Mac with Bluestacks Air. Head to the official site, hit that download Bluestacks Air button and grab the PKG installer. Then double click the file and walk through the install. Click continue, install, punch in your Mac password, Done. After it finishes, go to your Applications folder and open Bluestacks. Inside, search for Genshin Impact, click it, and select the Install button. You'll be asked to log in with your Google account, so do that to proceed. Once that is done, click Play and the game will launch.
First, however, you may be asked to provide some system permissions, so do that to start playing. Next, all that's left to do is to sign in with your Hoyoverse account, and the Android version of Genshin Impact will load on your Mac. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time!